cancel culture is truly an interesting thing. You get exposed of doing something terrible and people are going to go inside your generation and find things that you don't even remember doing. This is a video of Chris Tyson saying the N-word. What? You do know I'm watching this for 10 hours straight on a live stream. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he said the N-word. Well, you just said the N-word. But I'm not relevant. Oh yeah, that's true. And people also dig up this video that was posted a couple of months ago by Mr. Beast and his bestie Chris, where it was another 30-day challenge where you leave them in an island and see what happens. And since this video got a lot of backlash, a lot of dislikes, Mr. Beast decided to delete this video. But before he deleted, someone screenshotted the whole thing. And just a month ago, a YouTuber goes by the name of Prism42 posted a video about Chris Tyson talked inappropriately to a 13-year-old. I think it's really bad that you were talking to this guy since he was 13 years old and he brought a camper van to meet up with you. That's pretty fucking bad. This guy went full detective mode to the old tweets between this 13-year-old and Chris Tyson, who was at the time 22 years old, and found some... Pretty disturbing stuff. Now, before we go through the evidence together, let me refresh that golden fish memory of yours. Last week, a YouTuber woke up, opened his book on YouTubers touching, tickling minors, and decided to any mini mini mo his shit and f randomly pick a name, and that name was Chris Tyson. And last week, it was Cody Cole, which I'm pretty sure you remember. Now, this guy went on a full rant of exposing chris of liking lollipops cartoons if you don't know what that means just picture ben 10 beating his cucumba fighting his dragon with his watch just picture that right it is basically ca cartoons which involve sexual images and what separates it from hentai is this lollipop thing it is only for underage maybell and dipper are 12 year old siblings from a show called gravity falls on july 14th 2017 a user tweeted comics of these characters kissing Avery replied, they're twins, so at this point, it's just mad right? And in the other, she's 10. Shadman posted a 10-year-old version stating, what is this and why do people keep sending me this? Avery replied underneath saying, please Shad, please. I believe everyone understands what this means. You get the idea, basically. And now with this new evidence that has come out, things have gotten interesting. This, ha this all happened a few years ago where Lava, this is the the victim in this whole situation where he was in a mr beast video a couple years ago and he went viral for saying this line lava pluto assemble hi how are you i need you to make this 10 times harder how hard do you want it jimmy hard and that is when lava's connection started with the whole mr beast team this is the gift mr b sent lava a few years ago of a csgo knife with mr b signed on it but since mr beast was busy thinking about his next video idea who had the free time to talk to this 13 14 year old at the time the only one and only chris tyson they even added each other on snapchat this is lava posting it on discord saying i get weird snaps from chris christopher here on snapchat posting coming for america now keep in mind chris was born in 1996 and this mr lava was born in 2003 and this whole incident happened between 2017 and 2019 so i guess it's pretty funny for a guy who's 20 something years old to send these sexual snapchats streak to a 13 14 15 year old donkey their friendship only got stronger and stronger by time i really enjoyed playing fortnite would you guys watch me stream people said yes lava said please stream again and chris with his response saying thanks dad you want to moderate it sure bro call the 14 15 year old dad completely a normal thing chris posts a video with his wife with ex-wife right now and lava comments down below chris does she know about your hentai addiction why in the donkey this guy knows your sexual addictions chris what do you guys talk about on Snapchat where messages were deleted after 24 hours? God knows. Chris posts, guys, we are so close to our goal. Oh, my God. One more Patreon and I'm releasing my nudes. Lava replied to that saying, I'm your first Patreon, big boy. Lava replied to it again with a screenshot of donating $1 to the Patreon or $5. I don't know which one is which. And Chris replied, but not $5. Pathetic. Joking. Kiss face. Lava replied to it saying, wait till my Twitch revenue comes in, winky face. Lava replied to it again saying, check again, meaning he donated more money to his Patreon. Chris replied to it saying, I posted some fire nudes for you, please no share.
Now I get it. It's sus jokes. People make a lot of sus jokes nowadays. But not when someone is underage and you're in your 20s. Now, do not even try to come at me by saying, oh, it was back then. Back then things were much better. Nowadays people are too sensitive. This was never a joke. This was never funny. This was never okay. Now, sure, if you're live streaming some people come you don't know their age they tell you damn daddy chris oil up at 20k i have people like between the age of 13 to 17 watching my videos like less than 10 percent on this channel and every once in a while there is someone who comes and tells me 20k kush oil up oil up and literally all i tell them is shut up now i don't want to come and sound like a hypocrite i actually talk a little bit sexually to minors every once in a while whenever i don't know if they're minors or not whenever i play call of duty search and destroy which i'm sure if you play call of duty you're aware of this the second you i entered the lobby uh, people start cursing at me i start cursing at them whenever i get into a one-on-one -on -one situation last person standing we both put on a fight and the second i kill them without knowing if they're underage or not that is when my trash talks start suck my forehead lick my knees I will spank your eyes. It is completely fine in these situations, but when you talk privately with them, it's not okay. How are you comfortable with talking to someone and being friends with them in the first place? What do you have to talk about when you're 22 and this person is 14 years old? You talk about your kinky hentai fetish? A 14-year-old and a 22-year-old, they have nothing in common to be friends off of. It is completely weird and creepy to be friends with a 14-year-old when you're in your 20s. But ever since all these uh, Lava and Chris situation has gone viral, Lava actually made a response to all of this. These videos are massive lies and twisting the truth. Chris never did anything wrong and just made a few edgy jokes. I was never exploited or taken advantage of. Can you do me a favor and comment this video so they can stop from them from spreading lies the situation takes away from children who are actively being exploited every day online i am not a victim of anything being claimed in these videos or not at all basically he said that nothing happened between us it was just a 22 year old and a 14 year old goofing around and talking about sexual things totally normal thing but i still stand with my point where i say it's completely weird and creepy for someone in their 20s to hang out with someone who is in their mid, mid teen years also yes i believe chris had no intentions to do anything with this lava kid back in the day they were just goofing around which is still extremely creepy in my eyes now, unfortunately not everyone is as lucky as lava in this situation because usually when a something 20 something 30 something year old man wants to hang out with someone 13 14 years old they have other intentions than edgy jokes yes they will make their edgy jokes but once you meet up in person they are going to perform those edgy jokes on you now mr b still hasn't responded to all this heat and i'm pretty surprised that no big youtuber or big people not as many as i thought are talking about the situation not as many as when dr disrespect came out and everyone was fully attacking this person but only nick Merck, some commentary channels and a couple other big youtubers just talked about this whole situation a lot of people are ignoring it my best guess is they don't want to lose opportunities with mr beast or other i don't know man it's a sh it's a weird world out there anyways just wanted to update you with this whole about this uh, new chris situation let me know your thoughts in the comments below like the video subscribe take care of yourself i will see you with the next one